hi everyone welcome back to my channel tn art i hope you all are well so let's start today's video so today i'm super excited about this item and i have been holding this for some time so this is a clear uv clay and when i saw this actually when i was shopping online and i thought this is something really different i need to try it i need uh, i made a resin clay putty uh, if you want to see how i did above i'll put that but this is really something different uh, a lot of time i wanted to open it and see the texture of this clay but i didn't do that because i wanted to record everything on camera with you all sharing my experience so let's see how we all will see how this looks like so i have taken a wooden stick and i really didn't knew that this uh, actually it's looking like a very hard clay and my stick broke so i'm just scooping it out of the container So one thing I know that uh, this is probably something that uh, a nail artist do use. I think it is something like that. So I'm not sure about that. I can use this clay with my bare hand. So I am wearing gloves. Although when I am doing sculpting, I don't wear any gloves because I want to feel the clay in my hands when I'm making something. But this is was actually looking really difficult to me. And you can see there is some stuck to my glove. So after rolling it was less sticky but i had some on my gloves so that's why it was making me a bit difficult so after rolling it's looking like this so now this was giving me issues so i applied a little bit of vaseline on my uh, gloves and now it's really easy to work with so this is the texture of the clay here so as it is a uv clay um, i was worried that it might cure so let's see so at the moment i'm just ch checking out the texture so i can see that it is easy to work with but i need to see if it holds its shape so now on to the project and for this you will need some fairy lights so these are the fairy lights and you can i'm just opening them so these are really handy and they do look so beautiful in a lot of projects So I have opened up the wire and now I will be twisting it where the lights are, like this. So I will be doing this to all of the lights. So the wire is done and now I am working with the clay and I have taken the clay and I will be splitting it into uh, different sizes. So the idea here is that I am making mushrooms on these lights and I am sculpting it with this resin clay, UV clay, whatever you like to say it. So first of all, I will be making the stems. So I will be covering all of these lights with the UV clay like this. So it do shapes up really well. So as this is my first time working with this UV clay, I am making a basic shape here. I actually uh, at the moment I'm just checking out this clay how it works. So I will be making the stamps on all of these lights just as I have explained. So now I will be apply applying the clay on all of these uh, lights. And after applying on all of these, these are going under the UV lamp. So I will be curing these all at once. Just making sure that uh, all of these lights are under the UV lamp. Meanwhile, I'm curing the lights. Uh, I am working on another, another thing. I have taken a cellophane paper here. It's the normal one that I use for my projects here. It's a, I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. I'm creating a sort of oral flakes here. Meanwhile, I was making the flakes, my lights are done. So I'm removing them under the UV lamp and now I want to see how they are cured. So uh, to, it surprises me that it has cured really fine. So now I will be taking out some more clay. 
so just take out the amount that you are working with it's easy to handle and you uh, don't worry that it might cure so i'm taking out the amount again i want at this point i know the texture of the clay so i know how to scoop it out and again i'm applying some vaseline on my gloves to handle the clay because on its own it's a bit sticky so i'm trying to take it off from the wooden stick and i don't want to waste it so i will be uh, putting the, all the aura flakes into the clay here that i was cutting like this I was thinking of adding some uh, mica powder into this uh, UV clay because the uh, only pigment that you, you can add in this clay is the mica powder. And another thing that I was thinking that I might add the epoxy pigment that are a bit transparent uh, a little bit of into this clay and it might work also. So next time I will be trying that. Meanwhile today I will be leaving it as it is. I just added aura flakes because I have uh, something in my mind. So I want to create the mushroom in that style. So now I will be making the mushroom caps so that's why I added the aura flakes I wanted to make them a bit on the magical and fantasy side so I have taken this tool and with the help of this tool I'm making the shape so as you can see uh, it was a bit distorted as I am not used to this clay so that's why it's happening here so I am going to make the uh, cap again I know that I will get the hang of this clay because I used to uh, work with a lot of clays but this is actually first time so that's why so here I'm making the cap and after that I will be inserting it into the light making the shape starting out from the first one so here I have inserted it and you can see I have successfully made the mushroom so this is, will be going under the UV lamp. So for the mushrooms, I will be making them one by one because this clay is a bit on the softer side. So the shape will change itself. So that's the reason. So after getting the hang of this clay, now I understand it, I need to work it with uh, gentle hands. So here you can see I have made the cap and now I'm just putting it onto the uh, already made stamp. So now it's going under the UV lamp and this way I will be making all of these. So all the mushrooms are done so I made this tray out of prison crete and it's a casting compound. So I will link the mold in my description if you want to purchase this one. So now I will be arranging this uh, these mushrooms so it's really up to you how you want them to be arranged. Before I wanted I was going for a bigger tray then I thought I'll just go with this one because these this is such a beautiful and cute mold. So with the help of a heat gun I will be arranging these mushrooms. So in this way it holds the uh, position.
So all of the mushrooms are in place and now for the next step. And the next step is that I will be using this moss and it will be covering all the uh, wire that you can see is visible. So I will be placing this uh, moss onto the, all the places. And I will be doing the same. I will be using the heat gun and then I will be putting the moss. So now this is really up to you however you like to decorate your um, dish here. So this is how it's done and after that I will be doing a layer of resin but before that I will be adding a little bit of glitter. So that's the why, reason I used the glue gun because later on I was going to use the resin so that after that the project will be secured and also it will bring out the beauty more. So here I'm adding a little bit of iridescent glitter into the resin just a little bit. I'm trying to create a night scene here and these mushrooms will act as a, a light. Another option is that you can use uh, glow in the dark powder, uh, powder in this uh, clay as well. So this is the glitter that I have used. So if you uh, add the glow in the dark powder, you don't need any lights or something. So they will glow in the night. So that is another thing that came later on to my mind but before I wanted to do this. So now I'm pouring the resin and slowly adding the resin and with the help of a heat gun I will be uh, spreading the resin into the dish. As soon as I poured the resin with the iridescent glitter it's looking like a starry night. They are so beautifully twinkling into the resin. Just making sure that I have a decent uh, layer of resin. Pouring resin on all sides. And after that, I am doing a little bit of top, co top coat onto the mushrooms also with the same resin. So you can use a UV resin, but I have mixed my resin already here. So I am doing it with the same. And later on, a little bit of heat gun and a little bit of torch and I will leave this to cure and I will see I you next I just day. forgot that I didn't add any crystals to my project which is so necessary when I'm making these sort of projects. So I have quartz crystal out and I will be putting few of these. So again, I'm using my glue gun here. And also I'm adding little uh, tiny pearls into the project. And with the help of a glue gun, I will be putting up these crystals. I'm selecting the one that can that suits the project. So I have added my quartz crystal and then some pyrite. And after that, I will leave this to cure now and I will see you next day with the finished look. So here is the finished look of this project. It was really amazing to make from the beginning. It was such fun. Sometimes projects are so fun to make. The light was so easy. The mushrooms and the UV clay is something so amazing. I am looking forward to create more things with that clay. So this is how it looks like. adding the crystals and making these tiny mushrooms and a hint of moss and now I will be showing you the best part. 
So after turning on the lights of these tiny mushrooms, they are looking so beautiful and I can imagine if you add some mica powder or a little bit of color into these, you can make some magical sort of mushrooms here and the reflection into the resin making them more magical. Just imagine if you make something like this for your home or you are giving this as a gift. There are so many possibilities and this resin clay is so amazing. I just love it. And it could be a beautiful night lamp for your kids room. You can make mushrooms of all design. You can make the other mushrooms that grow on the trees. They are I think called the tree mushrooms and there are so many type of mushrooms. You can search online and you can create with this resin clay. Resin is just a medium. You can make so many beautiful and magical stuff out of it. And also you can just make them to sell. They can be really amazing for your business. So I'm just giving you an idea and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please do let me know in comments and also please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.